All right, so hopefully this is going to be a quick video on how to put on a either arm grease fitting for a uh, basically many years of uh, Chevy Express vans and uh, Chevy trucks. This is a 2004 Chevy Express 3500, and uh, it's also a road truck uh, popular 190 conversion. So the problem is that these idler arms are not very accessible, especially if a skid plate on your vehicle. Obviously, this van does not have a skid plate. It's not going off-road at the moment. Anyway, this will make sure that people don't forget to uh, grease it. This would be a lot more obvious uh, where the grease fitting is located. So in the kit there you get a, a hose. This mounts on a uh, sway bar bracket. And then you've got to take the grease fitting off the idler arm. Stick that thing on. Thread this uh, into there. I'm sure it'll be... Uh, great fun but like I said it's a two-wheel drive van no skid plates so it'll be easy to install it's probably something you want to install when you replace your idler arm after it fails the first time I think if you buy a Moog idler arm it comes with these uh, now so this van has had the idler arm fail because of lack of grease recently and they didn't do the hose thing for whatever reason so I'm gonna follow up and uh, resolve that so we'll pop under the van you'll probably need like seven millimeter socket to get the grease fitting off. That's kind of a common thing for Moog is like seven or eight millimeter. So that's a seven, that's not gonna fit. Yeah, so eight millimeter there. Then uh, see what this thing is. Probably 12 or 13. Yeah, so that's uh, a 12 millimeter. So you need a 12, an eight, then whatever it is for the uh, sway bar link, so we'll pop that off there. So let's go underneath the vehicle and see how this turns out. All right, so uh, before I go any further, I should mention that uh, I just did a job on this vehicle where I had it up on the ramps, and I needed to go a little bit further, so I put the vehicle lifted up on a jack and put a jack stand under it so I could get my arm in the suspension without it uh, dropping on me. It's Canada and it's becoming fall weather so there's a lot of shadows right now so sorry about that. Anyway that's a 3 ton Pro Eagle off-road jack that I'm using here. Grab my grease gun, might as well grease this thing while I'm working on it. So uh, I'll slide under here and I'll show you the idler arm. So it's on the passenger side. Just up there, you'll find a grease fitting. Looks pretty lonely. I don't think anybody's ever touched it. So we gotta put the uh, hose on there with the uh, 90 degree fitting and slip down somehow and uh, grab onto the uh, sway bar fitting here. Looks like it's probably a 14 or 15. It's about a mile long. So I'll get the uh, camera set up on the tripod and we'll start working. All right, so we've got the camera in here. Getting the vehicle up on the jack above what the uh, ramps are is not really necessary. Gives you a little bit more space. Just clean the uh, work area. It's a good job for the abs too. The higher you lift it, the more you gotta do your crunches in order to get access. So I already checked this. It's uh, an eight millimeter here. So that's pretty good. So all you can see is my hands, sorry about that. Let's see if I can get in there. So I'm sure you've seen a grease nipple before. But you won't see that one, just dropped it, it's gone. I was hoping to share it with you. I'm not sure it'll be alright without seeing it. So now you take your uh, 90 degree adapter. If I read the instructions, I'd know where to stop it. I have for it to be pointing. The instructions were kind of useless to read them. So, turn it a bit more than that anyway, because that's just finger tight. Fit 
getting on there. We just verified that it fit. That's not surprising. Quite perplexing. I guess it's not a square. I'm quite baffled as to why this doesn't want to go on there. Maybe it is a 13. Alright, so I'll just stop this and I'll grab another wrench and we'll get back to work. Alright, so I got that figured out. So it turns out the uh, adapter is a different size than the uh, hose fitting. So it's uh, a 12 for the uh, adapter, or sorry, a 13 for the adapter, a 12 for the hose, and 8mm for the grease fitting. And then for the uh, sway bar mount, you're going to need to get a 15 millimeter deep socket to get on there. You can't get onto it with a wrench, there's not enough space. So I guess we'll do a bit of trial and error with the direction of this fitting here. I got to point it kind of forwards right now because I need to get the uh, hose through an opening here and uh, out. And it looks like my wife is leaving with the car, so hopefully she doesn't run me over. And. Uh, Away she goes. And uh, anyway, we'll get this uh, hose on. We'll let you know how uh, the angle fits. Or actually, why don't we just give it a shot and see what happens? Pass on through there. I think I'm going to back this up. So we get this uh, hose on where it's uh, a straight shot so we don't need to flex it as we're going. Trying to start a hose on an angle is not easy. It's a thousand times easier. Now we'll take the hose, 12 millimeter, tighten that up. Having the vehicle this high up off the ground is actually a hindrance and it's harder to get to stuff. See that's tight enough. Or just do that opening. Pretty much tighten this by hand at this point. Let's grab the camera and reset it. Now, let's see if we can get it all in frame. There's the hose poking out. We want it to kind of be like that so the guy with the grease gun can grab onto it nice and easy. He wants to stay there.
These are uh, crush lock nuts. Alright, I got this set to nut driver. Set it to free. So we get to sit on a nice angle here. Alright, so that's that. See if we could get to take grease or not. New fitting so we don't have to wipe it off. Well, I can hear it coming out somewhere. We check on that in a second. One more squirt. Still some air in there. There, we got the air purged out. So let's swoop back in there and see what we see. Wait, no surprises. Success. We got grease coming out of the other arm. Alright. So that's the job. There's no leaks up there. So I'd say you kind of just bend it to suit just by hand when you get close. Seems like coming down towards here would be okay. So thank you for watching.